This is an old baseball bat that I bought from Goodwill for $4. My son will be playing baseball for the first time and I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a new bat just in case he decides to quit. As you can see, the grip on this bat is all worn out. And in this video, I'll show you how to regrip a baseball bat. Let's begin. So here's what you're gonna need. Some new grips, and I'll have links in the pinned comment below. Scissors, and some tape. I'll be using just regular electric tape for this application, but you can buy the fancy one that designed specifically for bats or sporting goods. Step one, we're gonna remove the old gripper tape and the grip itself. Should come off fairly easily. Oh, this thing is sticky. So it looks like it was already done once, but I think I'm gonna remove this one as well. Here's what it looks like after it's removed. This stuff's kinda nasty, the old stuff. So I decided to give it a quick rinse with some dish soap just to wash any residue. Looks much better, much nicer, cleaner, and not sticky anymore. Looks like mine has a little adhesive backing on it, so I'm gonna take that out. These are actually designed for tennis rackets, these grippers. That's all I had. I didn't wanna to go to the store, but for now, I think this is fine. So I removed the plastic backing, and then on the back side, there's a little sticky side. So that's what we're gonna start off with, with the sticky side. And you see that this is the straight side, and this is the sloped side, the cut side. So we're gonna put this cut side parallel to our base, stick it, right there like that and then we're gonna start wrapping it make a full wrap on the base and then start angling it like that it's pretty straightforward you just make sure you have a, a nice overlap keep the tension the same and just keep turning the bat as you hold the tension and then near the end we'll take some tape probably should have prepared a little tape beforehand but that's okay Get it started like this. And I'll tape it from here, from, from the base. I'll do one round this way, and then another round on top, like that. I'd say it feels pretty good. This is what it came out to look like. I even ended up spray painting the end of the bat to make it nice. And that's it. Check out how I build a soccer goal for my kids next. 